What is up you guys? All right, today we are diving into the entire Disney Halloween village that I unboxed. We're gonna decorate together. We are going to clean up, unbox all of these goodies that I just received. So what I've done so far is just set up how the village is gonna go. I put some styrofoam pieces out and it's looking pretty good. I also, I also, and I said I was gonna do this, used a really cool diffuser that kind of looks almost like fire in the back of the main house and I propped it up. I used a black dishcloth as like part of my base. I will show it to you guys, but first let's open up all of these parcels because they very much have to do with that little village over there. If that's something you wanna see, then just keep watching. This was all ordered right after I did the gigantic unboxing. I placed a bajillion orders on Amazon because I'm never done decorating. And this is all necessities. What is this? Fairy lights as if one needs more fairy lights. But these ones are made for Halloween because they're orange and purple and there's a pack of two. So I'm thinking that could go in the village. I'm pretty sure every single thing in here is for that village. Nope, I lied. Mine busted yesterday. Yes, instant green, super moss. It's not very much. Okay, I bought these in Florida and I thought they were the cutest things. This is a way bigger bag, but this is gonna be great. These are like moss rocks. I'm gonna kind of spray paint them black from afar with the moss. Black tablecloth, I don't know why there's stickers included. Oh my gosh, these are literally like exactly what I had as a kid. These are like stickers from the 90s. They added that in with my black tablecloth. I mean, I'm here for it. I'll probably add it to one of our giveaway boxes for someone that has kids. That is amazing. Those are, I swear, I probably had those. Did any of you have sticker books when you were little? I lived for my sticker book. Okay, I got a gigantic black tablecloth. This is perfect. So this is gonna be draped completely on top just so that you can't see the white styrofoam because I like raised all the pieces. Oh, this is for decoration, but for a different project. Oh, no, we're good. We are good. So after I'm done the village, I'm gonna decorate the table. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I got these three like candlestick, they're tall candlesticks to hold these. And I only have two of these. I'm gonna have to order another one because I think these are sick. They're very, um, very much on brand with that dude right there. I like them and they just twist at the bottom. Oh, this is also, okay, okay. So not all for the village. This is also for the table. This isn't Halloween, but it's gonna be Halloween. If you know what a charger plate is, you know what a charger plate is. It's like the bigger plate that goes underneath. And then I have a DIY project. So stay tuned for that. But these are very cute and they came in a pack of six. I think it's really funny that I said I didn't have enough moss. If you've ever seen my Easter videos, I decided to do the top of the bar cart all with turf. And that came to me last night. If you saw the unboxing slash review, you know that I had a margarita. And as we do, when we have a margarita, things make more sense. This will be incredible, but uh, I went a little bit over the top. This is a full roll of turf for my village. It's gonna be incredible, but I definitely am gonna need the black spray paint. So I think what I'm gonna do is take all this outside, maybe even in the garage, and spray paint from spray paint from afar. Black tablecloth, which I guess with this, not necessary. Well, maybe, because I, I think I'm gonna cut this into pieces. I can't just drape it over. Yeah, I can't just drape it over the styrofoam. So black tablecloth, pieces of this, moss, moss rocks, black spray paint, fairy lights, Boom, things are happening. So this is what we've got going. If you're wondering what the music is, I've got more Halloween ambiance. Here is the deal. I used the plastic piece from, this is all the wrappers. So this is the light box for the little Mickey that's right there. So I raised this on one of the pieces and then I cut the other one in half, stacked them. This was the holder for him. This is the other half of that holder and this held the little characters. I just thought it'd be cute to raise everything and then I put the gates right in front. The other thing I did, black cloth, this is just a dish rag and then this is that nebulizer that I can turn on. So we're good. And then I had this piece from last year. I don't know if that's going to stay there, but this is going to be the general layout of the village. So 
So here's where we're at. I put the tablecloth across everything over top of all of the height areas that I added. And I tried to like tuck some of it under and then I'm gonna put the pieces of grass like cut to the same space. And then I brought up all of the little moss rocks. So we're gonna disperse those. There's actually more in here that I spray painted. And I just quickly like spray painted one side just to kind of give it like a natural-ish effect. And then I've got the turf under here and then I've got the moss in here. So I'll cut that to size, I'll cut that to size, and right now we're watching Casper. It's gonna be great. We're having a margarita. You're a part of it all. Okay, update. There's no timer, if you saw my review. The other side is this. What? done with two bags of black Spanish moss and one bag of black spider webs, one black tablecloth and a little bit a lot of turf and some moss rocks. Very freaking cool. It totally worked out. I was getting overwhelmed because I didn't know how to cover the bases that I had set up. The black spider webs worked so flippin' well. So that's what's draped over the edge here. And then I just put the black Spanish moss on top of it. So I've got the nebulizer going back there. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like again with the lights off. So good. I'm actually watching Haunted Mansion right now. So it's so perfect. I have an extra bag right there of the black Spanish moss. I might add a little bit, but I think I'm good. This was just an extra little Haunted Mansion from Cracker Barrel. The entire thing I feel worked out really, really well. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a close up here, but I mean, this is the best way that it could have turned out. And I love that I can expand on it every year. I already heard that there is a haunted mansion piece that I could add to the village, which is really cool. This is that Mickey all lit up. So everything looks really good. I'm super happy with it. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. You guys let me know. If you enjoyed this little decorate with me, definitely give this a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed because duh. And hit the bell if you want to be notified for any new videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.